Hi, welcome back. We're gonna finish up Robert the Bruce 3. Oh, hello. Alright, what was I doing yesterday? I don't know. Oh yeah, I was gonna get a landing ready. Well, at least Celts have dry dock. That's something, I suppose. It's not like we have that much stone. I lost my siege workshop somewhere. Need to get some of those upgrades. Now, considering that the Heb Hebr Hebrides, Heb Hebrides, whatever they're called, those island thingies, uh, were one of the available starting locations, I have to imagine that we can still sail to them. Uh, there's an island that doesn't have much going on. Come on! If only we had stronghold research! Oh yeah, we got some extra armor, which is nice. Oh, that is a relic, and there are some sheepers. A couple tiles of gold over here. So do I get this town center and stuff like that once the uh, units here are killed? And... They said they could in I could increase my population. Since I'm missing some dudes, which is possible. You... Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll start to work away at these general... Or maybe... Wait. Feels good to be back in Scotland. We have to learn from our last defeat. English army is stronger than ours. We shouldn't fight head on. The right thing to do is use our familiarity with the terrain and the people's support to start a guerrilla war to defeat the English. We should kill the English officers and free the Scots to join our army. Uh, Bruce, are you in such a hurry to get yourself killed? Well, I don't know why my Valence, the Frenchy guy, used that accent, but, you know, I'm not one for consistency. Oh, okay, so we have 170. The resources carried out by our villagers has increased. Keep this going. I think we're all right. I am like kind of sort of sure we're all right. I don't 
know why I'm not using multi Q other than the, that I'm bad. So that applies to all infantry, right? Yeah, you got plus four, plus five on the infantry. Well, now we just have to contend with their uh, unit spam. If Valence is growing more and more arrogant, if we can destroy his camp in Scotland, we can rendezvous with the army. Which one's his camp? Uh, is this fully walled? No. Oh, I guess we'll just walk in. I was totally expecting there to be more. The English were defenseless against the guerrilla tactics. Oh, Valence is red. Elite Huskarls. I mean, we can make some Huskarls of our own, I guess, but I don't think they're really going to do that much. Oh, you're a bunch of ships not doing anything? Where'd my transports go? Were they sunk? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we'll level this camp. Yeah, these are just Castle Age Huskarls. Not really the most impressive unit. They don't even benefit from our extra armor. guys to work. Kind of explore a bit more, see what's going on in these here parts. Oh. Oh. oh I guess that's another village we should take. Because <laughs> obviously increasing our population limit is going to be very nice if we can uh, manage it. Whatever. Hey, stop it with the, uh, the throwing of the Axemen. Just snipe that dock. There we go. Start taking out those guys. Start going after that area. A bit to the north. Yeah, that extra pierce armor is really helpful here. There's a little bit more stone down that way to take. Uh, more resources on the Hebrides? I will never pronounce that correctly. 
And I'll also pronounce it a different way every single time. This looks like where a, an army is about to spawn at the edge of the map. But what with the pass and the rocky terrain and all that. Anyway, let's get some uh, more pop space. Got our good old Celtic Fury. Lord Robert, you're finally back to leading us to get rid of the Englishman. Alright, we're at 180 pop now, guys. Okay. Let's get this ram train going. If I was that stone I found, I would be over here. There we are. Get some more you guys. Is that a fire tower? No. Okay, good. We know likey fire tower. You guys do something a bit more helpful, perhaps? Wild idea, I know. Uh, more taxmen. Another butcher is, with his hands full of Scottish blood has fallen. Still... As nice as the extra armor is against the longbowmen of the English generals, the fact that Amar de Valence is... Uh, Franks means that like one extra melee armor is generally not as useful as one extra pierce armor Just because melee units have to tend to have higher attack Whoa lag city Don't know what that was for. Oh, hey, I could finally take the stone that was over here. Uh, I guess there are some relics there, but don't think this should be too much of a concern. Guess there's another one of those general types. Those in general general types. Just looking for more towns. Speaking of which... Let's get you. Get our 190 pop. Yeah, you can see versus Britons, their archers, skirmishers, and halves, our extra armor is coming in clutch. And booyah! Let's keep going.
Just start going after those. Oh. Oh, there's red. Just keep pursuing with that. Some more castles would be really helpful. Oh, you probably have Warwolf. Oh, that looks like Warwolf. I don't know if destroying all of these production buildings is super critical. But we're going to do it anyway just to be on the safe side. Very good. Now I can't say for sure, but my guess would be that in all of this area to the north and east, there's going to be another village. Okay, got everybody here. Or there's going to be an orange army coming. this count? This might count as one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they landed. What goofballs. Okay. Let's get those going. All those siege units aren't really doing that much for me. Yeah, I mean, they're getting some hits in. Oh, those. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's nice to see you again, robot. Robot. All right, and that leaves the last Scottish town as over here. Good to know. And I guess we should go after Valence. Mr. Valence Electron. Make sure we keep mining gold. That is the one resource we're a little short on. Yeah, the Irish aren't really doing a whole lot for us. Yeah, that's a big army that we have. Oh, 
Yeah, this is all a full post imp Franks. Great, we can finally get rid of those British bastards. I don't have a market. Uh, it feels like we lost almost all of our siege units for no reason. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting around here. Scottish towns. Which is all the stuff deals melee damage, which makes Siege a lot less effective. I mean, they're also only using gold units against an army that I'm having to mix in trash units for efficiency's sake. But I imagine that once we get these guys all sorted, our lives are going to become easier. And if you're wondering, why don't I have more forward buildings and why am I not using this enormous army? Great questions all around. I thought it was weird. I mean, we only have 77 villagers. It's not like our eco is enormous. So I have a lot of resources banked up. I'm such a dum-dum. Well, hopefully we've gotten rid of all of their castles and our strong Scottish infantry can take down the, uh, the rest. Oh, uh, we never actually started taking the gold over there. Yeah. We have literally deforested Ireland. That is not good. Holy crap, our population's dropping off a cliff. Those were some gold miners there. No, no more castles. I'm tired of your taxmen. Okay, well, we got that. Let's keep up this pressure.
Chivalry makes all this post-imp uh, prank spam that much more difficult. It's one of the things in Tariq Ibn Ziyad. When you're actually facing the red Franks there in the, the final scenario. care about that one random scouting or I guess I was trying to fight over there but we're taking out Mr. Valence Electron without too much issue. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to research Heavy Scorpion and maybe see Jonager later. Because if we have to defend a, a push from, like, here, especially the swamps here make that feel really likely. Getting a bunch of Heavy Scorpions there with Celts could be really nice. Take down those, and red should at least be getting closer to being defeated. get another stable up over here. That would be a jerky thing to do of them. No, we don't want another castle, thank you. How many times do I need to keep telling you? How many times do I need to keep telling you? another one oh that's cyan and now orange <laughs> Well, hopefully we can clean this stuff up, maybe go up to this last castle, and then they're going to start to resign. It would make my life easier. isn't all that expensive. Yeah, th also, Valen there's a Valence's army that has, like, no score and hasn't had any all game, which feels like it's the type of AI to just start spawning here at the edge of the map. Ugh.
Okay. Let's go after you. This red really shouldn't have a whole lot left. Oh, wait. Is that red or orange? Okay, no, they're deleting stuff. Damn you, Bruce, when my cavalries arrive, you're done! Done like dinner, boy? And I had some pizza for dinner, so that was pretty good. Okay, they're all going to go through that choke point. I want to see some scorpions. We're also going to at least pick up Onager. Oh my god. It was delightful to see the English generals killed one after the other. Because I am a violent man. Oh. Let's also get some kill SOs. Okay. One more. One more, General. With our siege, we are getting ready over here. I'm I'm ready for a bunch of units to storm through and me to just mow them down with this blast damage. The power of the Scots. Man, did seriously like all of those bills die? It'd be nice to have, like, some gold income, you know? Get him! All the English generals have been cut down by us. Rejoice, brave men of Scotland. Alright. Took advantage of our guerrilla tactics to beat the English. However, Valence is gathering his cavalry. Need to take this time to prepare for a final showdown with him. Or just... Oh no! My siege! How dare you come back? Weren't you embarrassed enough that you were chased by me last time? As soon as my cavalry arrives, it will send you rebels to hell one by one. Valence's cavalry units are very strong, and if you fight them in the open areas, we'll lose out. You have to choose to fight uh, the foot of the mountains with the swamp on both sides. Okay. That is really good. Okay, now we really need to leverage our heavy scorpions. Okay, well, to be fair, the cavalry is really slow. That's still a lot of really strong paladins. Well, I guess we're doing all right. All of these scorpions on high ground is pretty OP. The pass through damage. 
But are they getting like bonus damage versus cav or something? I don't know. Valence, your pride and recklessness have failed your army. You are worthless before the courage and wisdom of the Scots. Go back to and tell your king that the Scots will something something. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to redo to get the outro slide. Well, that was a fun one. It was a long one, but it was a fun one. All of my stuff vanished, guys. It all vanished into the void. Except this mining camp foundation. That's all that remains of my empire. Actually, uh, it seems like everything vanished. So yeah, here are the, the Heb Hebrides or whatever. Choose the setup over here. Uh, it honestly might be easier than setting up in Ireland. Like, yeah, Ireland has more resources, but you need to spend a lot to take down the, the English. But it's also the more fun option. Cool, cool. Enjoying this campaign so far for sure. We first fled to the Hebrides to avoid the British Devils, and then we went to Ireland to gather people and group our team. We also fought with the local Irish during this period against England, when he said this his face was gentle and he must miss that time very much. After returning to Scotland, my master reflected on his own failure to meet heaven. He realized that in the face of murderous enemy, chivalry and teachings could not be bluntly copied. Instead of pinning his hopes on a decisive battle with the British army, he used our army's familiarity with the terrain and the support of the Scottish people to launch guerrilla warfare in the Scottish countryside. Soon after, my king ambushed an elite British cavalry force at Glentrool, and from this, we continued to hunt down the British patrolling the various Scottish villages and towns. Soon, the arrogant and cruel Valence couldn't sit still. He locked uh, Robert's position at Loudoun, so he mobilized 30... 3,000 elite cavalry ready to destroy us once and for all. At the time, my master had less than 540 fighters. My shrewd king chose an excellent defensive position. The edge of the mountain was full of swamps, and there was only a narrow mountain road to attack. In addition, he's also set up many roadblocks and ditches to hinder the British attack. Another spear formation was arranged to be ready. Roberts carefully planned a battlefield. The British army's superior numbers and equipment was defeated by our heroic and resourceful tactics. In this way, Valence was completely defeated. The English realized that to defeat the new king of Scotland, their king must come in person. His voice was interrupted by a shrill trumpet, and the siege began. Immediately, J James and I took up arms and ran to our army's line, his silver box flashing my eyes. All right. So that was I Shall Return. And next up is going to be Outlaw King. See you guys next time for that one.